In this video we will talk about how you can use C++ as a server-side language. This is possible by using CGI. CGI stands for Common Gateway Inter Interface. It is an interface between your web server and your executable. First of all, to use CGI you need the web server. We will use Apache web server. You can get Apache in a package like XAMPP or in a package like WAMP or you can get it as a standalone Apache web server. We will use XAMPP. When you install XAMPP, you need to search for the file httpd.conf, this file. It's located on your C drive, then XAMPP folder, then uh, Apache, then conf, and there it is, httpd.conf. You need to open this file, you need to search for document root. Uh, when you find document root, you need to change change this folder to CGI bin. Like this, you see CGI bin. Then you need to search for uh, tag directory with CGI bin. And you have to change this line options, comment it, and change it to uh, this line here. Uh, then you need to find the XAMPP control panel. You can find it in the start start menu. Uh, when you find the XAMPP control panel, you need to stop the Apache server and then start it again so that the changes you made to the com file are loaded. So now let me tell you a quick explanation of how you use CGI. You first have to compile your, so your C++ code to get the exe file. Then you take this exe file and you put it in the CGI bin directory. You change the name of uh, your exe file to index and you change the extension of your exe file to CGI. Then to call or, or to invoke or to execute your file, you type in the address bar of your browser the URL localhost or whichever URL your uh, index CGI is located at. Alternatively, if you want to work with the .txe extension, you need to find the .htaccess file. .htaccess file is located in the CGI bin directory. So you go to C, exam, CGI bin, dot htaccess. You open this file and you see this file contains this uh, line. This line only tells the CGI to treat .txe files as CGI scripts. Uh, when you compile your C++ code, you have to make sure you compile it as console application. Now, console application has a few ways of communicating with the other processes. It has a command line arguments, it has standard input, envir envir environment variables, and standard output. Uh, now CGI will not use uh, command line arguments, but it will use uh, standard input, environment variables, and standard output. Uh, so now let's do an example. I will be using uh, Microsoft Visual Studio it's uh, Microsoft Visual Studio Community 2015. So, let's go to Project, uh, Properties. Uh, in general properties, I have set the output directory to be the CGI bin directory. Target name, I set that to be the index and target extension, I set it to be CGI, dot .CGI. Uh, if you don't know, it was .txe, I changed it to CGI. Uh, so with this, I when I press build, when I compile this uh, code, it will automatically compile to CGI bin with this name. Okay. So this is the code we will be using. It has uh, two standard outputs. Uh, and the uh, first standard output is the uh, HTTP header with a MIME type of uh, plain text. So we will be sending plain text to 
the the browser um, the the next uh, standard output is hello CGI world and we as if we expect our browser to show us uh, this string so this is a server-side uh, program that will send hello CGI world to our browser so let's uh, try that uh, let's build our application let's go to build rebuild solution now when it's done uh, our CGI bin directory has been updated let's go to the browser and now when we type lo localhost in we have s hello CGI world so it works Uh, so now let's try and work with URL parameters So we will go to our Visual Studio. Let's add this line of code now. This is another uh, standard output. This will be uh, Returned back to our browser now. We're printing a string and uh, the string is uh, uh, This function get environment variable quiz string Uh, so this quiz string is an environment variable uh, that CGI uses, like we said here, CGI will use environment variables to communicate with our server-side program. So this uh, quiz string environment variable will contain uh, the URL parameters. And this function get env, get env, will, uh, will get the value of this environment variable and we'll return it back to our browser. So let's build this program. And now it's updated in our CJ bin directory. And let's see what the browser says. Now, localhost, we, we refresh, we get hello CJ world. Now, let's add some parameters like uh, hello equals. He and uh, when we refresh the page we see that uh, our program has returned uh, the parameters uh, that were sent through the URL so that's the way to work with parameters so when we refresh our page our browser sends the get request now what if we want to work with the post request uh, to work with the post request we need to uh, use another environment variable and that is environment uh, variable named contact left uh, this environment variable will uh, contain the length of the content that was sent in the post request uh, but uh, it will be in a, it, uh, this length will be a number but it will be a st string format so we first uh, need to get it as a string and then we convert it from the string to the integer now if uh, if this environment variable exists and it is not zero then we um, fill the post post data we get it uh, this is a standard input function we get it from standard input and we will send it back again to our browser so let's build And now we will try it. Now we can't uh, we can't uh, send post requests with uh, uh, our browser without using HTML, but we can use this plugin uh, HTTP requester. We can use this plugin to send uh, um, post requests. So let's do. S let's write some garbage and we when we send the post request we see that we get back to hello world hello CJ world hello our URL parameters and we get the content with that we send here uh, this is the environment variable content length it has a value of 17 and there are 17 characters in the 
in the content of the post request. So now let's summarize. Um, CGI will use standard input environment variables and standard output to, co to communicate with our program. It will use the qu CGI will use the query string environment variable to pass the URL parameters to our program and uh, it will use the environment variable content length to tell us uh, how much bytes we have on standard input that we have to read. So that's it. Thank you for watching.